want to talk to Al Franken? Uh, he's uh, not here today. Uh, but there's telephones and Skype. We really need to speak to him. Uh, all of us are his constituents here in Minnesota. And uh, we're very upset with the policies that he's been supporting right. Israel's crimes in Palestine. So can you get him on the phone for us? We're not able to do that right now, but what we'd love really to do... To hang on one moment, please. We, we would love to sit down and hear concerns nope. from a few oh, of you. We don't want to talk to you, no offense. Uh, we can chat later. Uh, we need to talk to the senator. Are you going to get him on the phone for us? I don't think we're able to do that right now. We're still waiting for Franklin to call in and hear what we have to say. I don't expect that call um, any more than I expect him to do the right thing. And I think we're a bunch of us. Hi, uh, Senator Franken, this is Alana. You are our at you on speakerphone in our conference room with some activists here who would like to share their thoughts with you. So. All right. Uh, well, well uh, I appreciate uh, hearing from you and certainly respect your right to protest and, and your, your passion. Senator Franken, okay. people in this community have been trying to meet with you to talk to you about the campaign of genocide that Israeli, Israel is carrying out in Gaza. And you have refused to meet with community members, instead having aides meet with them, meet with us in your offices. So we came to the campaign headquarters in hopes we could speak to you directly. I guess the telephone will have to do for today. We are outraged. I'm in, wa I'm in Washington, you understand. We are outraged at the crimes that Israel has committed. We're outraged at the endless U.S. support for those crimes and especially at your role, in your role as the senator of Minnesota, where most people do not support what Israel is doing, not only continuously towing the line, but in fact sponsoring resolutions supporting the campaign against Gaza. We are here today because we need you to switch, we need you to switch sides. We need you to make a change. We need you to make a public statement. And we need you to denounce the criminal genocide that's being carried out by Israel every day. Are you willing to do that? Okay. Uh, look, I, when it comes to the conflict in Gaza, I want it to end as quickly as possible. The loss of life is horrific, and I would, uh, you know, would love there to be a, a ceasefire. I, you know, you and I are not going to agree on your characterization. They're killing children that are bombing hospitals, that are bombing schools, that are bombing UN refugee centers. That is our tax dollars at work. That's right. Tax dollars that you authorized to send there. And then Increase. to top it off, you sponsored, not just signed on. The signing on to that resolution was horrific enough. Never mind sponsoring a resolution in support of killing children in Gaza. What uh, our dollars are doing is uh, supporting the, the Iron Dome. That's what our dollars are going directly to. Three billion dollars a year just for the Iron Dome? Uh, How much money is going to 16. protect Palestinian civilians? Well, when it comes to the conflict here, that's what our dollars are doing. And th those are knocking down about 85% of the rockets that are coming from, from Gaza. The, uh, look, I believe in a two-state solution. I, I would love nothing more than there to be uh, a lasting peace between the Israelis and the Palestinians. And Senate. I think the, the way toward that is, is, is a negotiated two-state solution. The Hamas did not recognize Israel's right. They're they agreed <clears throat> to the terms of the... They agreed to the quartet's terms, recognition of Israel, implicitly doing so by joining the unity government. Now, why would you call on, why would you call uh, for the dissolution of that, you know, that was a step I towards think, I peace? I think we disagree on your characterization. Sure. Um, can you comment on the Israeli crackdown in the West Bank that preceded this entire escalation, the rearresting of prisoners formerly exchanged in the Galad Shalit deal, the killing of at least six Palestinians? Um, do you not consider that an escalation? Well, uh, you know, look, the, the history of this is that those rockets preceded that, were, were preceding that, and that that was a response to uh, these three teenagers being killed. There were attacks from Israelis on Palestinians the week before the three mm -hmm. Palestinian or the three Israelis were kidnapped. I uh, was a huge fan of yours. I have all your books. My favorite was uh, Lying Liars and the Lying Liars Who Tell Them. You actually right. signed it for me at a state fair. I don't know what happened after you got elected. I don't know who's in your pockets. 
And I don't know how you can become one of those lying liars and the lying liars who tell those lies. I just don't know how you can sit there on the other end of the phone and just spout nonstop bullshit when you know in your heart the person that you used to be before you were the senator, you felt differently. And that's all I have to say. All right. Thank you, Senator. I think we'll um, let these officers get back to the work that they need to do on this, you know, serious Senator Franken, situation. I'm a member of the media. Oh, I'm sorry. Franken C. Gaza! Franken C. Gaza! Franken C. Gaza! Targeting civilians, they're targeting children, they're targeting women, males who are nine years old, kidnapping, beating them, they're burning them, they're dragging their bodies. They could sum that up as a victory, they don't have to risk arrest, but guess what? They want to, they're like, no, what we got from Mr. Franken is not enough.